now let me start the cinema yeah yeah let me start the cinema sir python database programming observe that a bit very carefully sir python database programming r pdbc python database programming programming r pdbc that gives you people should aware pdbc right sir now the first important point what you people should aware okay what is the need of database what the need what the need of database for which purpose we are going to use database concept okay that part we are going to discuss first and after just a basic theory how to work with oracle database how to work with mysql database almost around 15 to 20 almost around 10 to 15 programs we are going to discuss with that you people are going to get much much clarity i'm sure sir okay like sir now sir yeah, the part of our programming requirement sir we are going to write several applications we are going to develop several applications right yeah the part of our programming it is very common to store data regarding it's very very common common not to store data sir i want to develop one college automation system then i have to store all the student information like marks attendance due fees information time uh, timetable exams like everything i require to i require to store correct right okay sir this is with respect to college automation system if you if you are considering banking application all the customer information must be saved all the customer information must be must be saved next and after that you know sir call uh, what we call transaction information account balance information everything we require to store so clear indication that if you consider any application it is a very common requirement it is very common requirement to store it is a very very common requirement to store data are getting it's a very common requirement to to save data for the future purpose okay for the for the future purpose it's a it is a very common sir then how you can store this data is a bigger challenge here how you can able to save how you can able to store data itself is a bigger bigger challenge okay very simple sir there are multiple storage areas are there sir sometimes we may we may store temporarily sometimes we may store permanently okay remember that so based on our requirement you can choose either temporary storage areas either either temporary either temporary storage areas we can we can go for or, or we can go for permanent storage areas right okay either temporary storage areas or permanent storage areas we can go for that sir sir temporary storage areas best example for you suppose i'm saving the data um, i want to i want to save the data student information inside the sir dictionary assume that assume that i will ask I will ask the programmer, oh, can you please enter name? Can you please enter marks? Like this, I am asking. Now, sir, dictionary, D of name is equal to marks like this, I am taking, sir. Observe that. I will ask end user, please enter name, please enter marks. I will store that data inside inside dictionary. Almost around 10 times, I am going to repeat this, sir. I am, I am going to ask 10 times, sir, because 10 students are there. I will ask, sir, this is 10 times, I am going to ask. Now, the important conclusion here is, once the program completed once the program completed automatically this dictionary by default will be gone so the data by default will be gone correct or not okay yes long yes the program is in execution then only this dictionary is going to hold the data once the program completed then this dictionary by default discharged by garbage collector automatically the corresponding data also by default will be gone such a type of memory areas are nothing but temporary memory areas is it clear for all of that so our python virtual machine memory memory so our objects are going to be stored where that thing is temporary storage area temporary memory areas clear right okay this is volatile yes uh, inside the ram inside the ram the data by default will be stored because heap area heap area all these with objects are going to be stored in the temporary memory area only once the program execution completed automatically the data by default will be gone clear right okay such type of thing is nothing but temporary storage areas all all so this is python virtual machine memory area is nothing but temporary sir but uh, sometimes not sometimes most of the times temporary may not may not may not enough to meet my programming requirements sir 
sir today i'm going to provide some data today i'm going to provide some data after two days i want my data after one week i want my data today i will deposit 10000 rupees after two months sir i want to get that 10000 rupees from the bank yes i have to i have to there suppose today i deposited 10000 rupees in the bank once i visited to get that money back from the, to the bank then the bank people are telling our data gone sorry we can't do anything then we will get left hand right with the bank people are you getting right the data should require to store permanently then we should go for permanent storage areas the permanent storage areas are nothing but are nothing but file systems remember that the permanent sir permanent storage areas are nothing but file systems remember this one sir the permanent storage areas are file file systems next one after that databases databases next uh, some more extra advanced database technologies are there sir okay remember that so when we should go for file systems what advantages are there with the file system what problems are there next uh, what advantages are there with the databases what problems are there yeah the part of this database from python program how to communicate with our databases which is nothing but python database programming are you are you getting slowly the required concepts right so yeah the part of programming requirement it is very uh, it is a, it's a yeah the part of programming requirement it's a very common to store our data how many storage areas are there there are two storage areas are there temporary storage areas permanent storage areas right okay so temporary storage areas areas are nothing but sir pvm memory are you getting pvm memory areas right pvm python virtual machine memory areas permanent storage areas are nothing but do you know file systems databases cloud are you getting cloud platform like there are multiple that's why i'm using etc it doesn't mean only one or two amnas okay etc there are multiple things are available right sir now if you consider file systems are getting if you consider file file systems right just uh, what i want to do sir file systems the most commonly used uh, storage area the most commonly used storage area is nothing but file systems right sir very common need not be programming sir non programming area the most commonly used data is nothing but file system suppose python how many students are registered almost around 300 students are registered assumed sir for all these 300 students i want to send one small sms message are you getting i want to send one sms message saying tomorrow there is no class or otherwise tomorrow extra class is there like i want to intimate then this data where our people are going to store in the form of some excel sheet are you getting that in the form of some excel excel sheet they are going to store our data right but the problem but the problem here is okay sir some 10 students 20 students or 30 students like uh, sir, some number of students no problem at all right some number of students no problem suppose thousand students also no issue at all right suppose one lakh customers one lakh customers information after that one lakh customers data i want to store or 10 lakhs customers data i want to store then automatically file system is going to be completely handsome okay because the reason is if one lakh records you are going to store in the excel just to try to open that excel wow it is a it's going to take too much time just opening there reading the data is nothing but it's very horrible sir i want to process that data is nothing but too much okay like suppose one lakh one lakh students information is there sir assume that sir within a state 10th class results came plus uh, sir 10 10 10th class or otherwise plus two results came all the student data all the student results information i stored inside excel <laughs> assume that i stored in the inside excel then i want to get top most marks how you can able to process how you can able to process i want to get how many people got uh, sir more than 90 percent i want to know how you can able to process so like uh, while processing data from the file systems it is always a bigger problem remember that okay so first thing what you people should aware file systems the most commonly user storage area in the non programming environment one thing sir next the file systems are best suitable to store very less amount of information correct right best suitable to store very less amount of information very very less amount of very less amount of information file systems is the best the best suitable right up to this any doubt but 
there are several limitations are there there are several limitations are there sir what is the first limitation anyone can you please tell what the first limitation sir there are several limitations are there what the several several limitations are there can you please tell any limitation not suitable not suitable for huge data not suitable for huge data next one after that no no query language support are you getting right no query language support sir so if you want uh, anything manually we have to do the query language array select a star from students uh, where highest marks are sort by marks like such a type of thing is not there so query language support is not there they are performing operations on on the on the files uh, it is very difficult sir next anyone can able to open the file then security problem will come in the picture security is also so most of the times we never going to get username and password for the file but the database if you want to touch database data first you should provide username and password only tracking by default will be there but with the files no such type of thing security problem will come in the picture next the moreover do you know sometimes what will happen is data inconsistency problems also because redundant data may be a chance sir duplicate data sir files by default can't prevent files can't prevent duplicate data sir i want to store sir all mobile numbers inside a text file assume that all mobile numbers inside a text file then automatically are don't save duplicate data very how i can able to implement this one how i can able to implement no such type of thing at all before adding every mobile number first i have to check whether this mobile number is already there or not if this mobile number is not already there not already there then only you are that so like uh, n number of problems by default is going to come remember that okay security security is not there next uh, there is no mechanism to prevent the uh, duplicate data there is no mechanism to prevent a duplicate data and hence and hence data inconsistency problems will come in the picture are you getting and hence data inconsistency problems by default will come in the picture sir duplicate data wherever duplication is there wherever redundancy is there n number of problems by default will come in the picture do you know right in your childhood in the databases so insertion anomaly next and after that you know deletion anomaly like uh, update anomaly like there are several problems by default you are going to get sir make make sure so with the file systems like this multiple problems are there sir let me repeat again file systems are not suitable for to store huge amount of data next the no query language support and hence our performing operations is very different next the security problems may be a chance because without username and password anyone can able to access my file data next the, there is no mechanism to prevent the duplicate data then there may be a chance of redundant data which may cause a number of problems right okay to overcome these problems next level we should go for databases observe that we should go for databases right sir first thing first thing sir 1 lakh student data can i able to store in the database or not please respond 1 lakh student marks can i able to store in the database or not yes 10 lakh customers information we can able to store in the database no problem at all so first point here is we can store we can we can store huge amount of information we can store huge huge amount of we can store huge amount of information itself is possible okay like the first one sir second one just the query language support is available sir query language support is available no problem at all right query language support you can able to expect sir once query language support is available we can perform database operations very very easily sir so just uh, whatever one small condition you can implement your required data by default is going to come sir okay like uh, next uh, sir you know to access data present in the database compulsory you should provide username and password without the providing username and password there is no chance at all there is no chance at all okay to touch database that's why security is more security is more next one after that security security is there for our data sir next uh, do you know inside the database data will be stored in the form of tables correct or not data will be stored in the form of tables do you know while developing tables while developing database schema sir, sir database admin is going to follow several several normal forms 
first normal form second normal form domain key normal form like uh, you may you may heard about several normal forms they may follow next uh, normalization techniques right database admin follow various normalization techniques and can implement various constraints like uh, unique key constraints primary key constraints etc which prevent uh, duplication are you getting which prevent uh, duplication once a duplication is not there once a duplicate data is not there then automatically then automatically there is no chance of data inconsistency problems everyone can able to understand right so whatever problems we are facing with the files almost all problems by default are going to be overcome with our databases so that's why in real time highly recommended we should go for databases if you want to store huge amount of information sir i want to store only one count value only one count value or three or four properties i want to store something like a database name database driver url like a three or four properties i want to store then better to go for files concept only don't come to database database meant for storing huge data next the files are store meant for storing very less amount of information that's why do you know up to today also properties files are getting read properties properties files you may have the people who are working in the companies properties files you may you may aware without properties file you can't see any project right those properties files only we are using we never going to store our properties files in our databases correct right because how many properties will be there three or four or five or ten or twenty that's all it should be very lesser that's why highly recommended we should go for okay files concept to store limited amount of information huge amount of information better to go for databases right any doubt are you in a position to understand general theory general theory about uh, uh, what 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 the advantage why why we should go for databases and so on then immediately now the next point i'm going to talk take very very special care sir it's a it's a bit a bit important point sir now you are telling in front of files you are telling the sir database is the hero in front of files you are telling database itself is the hero but our hero also having some limitations are there definitely every person having advantages and the such strengths and weaknesses what problems are there with this file limitations remember this one what problems are there what are various limitations are there sir so first limitation is database can't hold database can't hold the very huge amount of information remember that database can't hold very huge amount of information best example sir youtube.com how many videos are going to be uploaded in the youtube per day oh lakhs lakhs of videos are going to be uploaded per day in the youtube next time after that facebook how many postings by default will be there how many postings are going to be uploaded in the facebook how many tweets are going to be circulated in the twitter are getting millions billions we can't so to store that much data database can i go for database then the people are going to laugh like anything are you getting right so to store such type of very huge amount of information very huge amount of information sorry this related databases can't provide support do you know most of the databases the default size is nothing but 4 gb have you remember right for most of the databases the default size is nothing but 4 gb sir 4 4 gb so the important point the important point here is so the first problem database can't hold can't hold very huge amount of information very huge amount of information remember that sir like like very can't hold very huge amount of information like terabytes of data and so on terabytes of data if you want to store then automatically database can't provide the support okay first problem right next another another problem is also there sir in the case of databases if you consider any relational database if you consider any relational any relational database sir in the in the databases in the databases okay do you know the data should be saved in the form of tables in the form of tables compulsory your data should sit in the in the in the table form only suppose that that means uh, my database can provide support only for structured data only for structured data but not for unstructured data but not for unstructured data data and the semi structured data are getting semi structured data okay right? the people who are working on database side the people who knows uh, hadoop they can able to they can able to understand they can able to tell very easily this point 
so the data should be yeah the data should sit in our table form is nothing but structured data but not for unstructured data what is the meaning of unstructured data sir images video files these kind of things are by default considered unstructured data remember that next uh, semi structured data is nothing but your xml files are getting xml files is a semi structured xml files are semi structured data semi structured data unstructured data cannot be stored in the database yes database can provide support only for structured data is it clear for all of right to overcome these problems we should go for next level we should we should go for next level data next level hadoop next big data next and after that some people are telling hana hana sap hana like a, the next level cloud next level we require to go for that everyone can able to understand so advanced uh, data storage technologies we should go for that okay anyway this is not in our scope just aware that point right advanced uh, data data storage data storage technologies we require to work sir that's all friends okay so this is about this is about the basic introduction so what is the need of storage how many types of storage areas are there temporary storage area permanent storage areas temporary storage areas are nothing but python virtual machine memory areas your objects dictionary list these kind of things are going to be stored in the temporary storage once a python program completes temporary storage areas by default will be gone remember that okay so next and after that permanent storage areas file systems and databases if you want to store very less amount of information better to go for file system but there are several limitations are there to overcome these limitations we should go for databases database can sort out the, the problems whatever there with the file system but it has its own limitations also to overcome these limitations we should go for advanced data storage technologies clear up to this any doubt respond respond each and every person then only i can able to think oh these people are getting some concept like that up to this any doubt only three or four members only responding what about remaining clear for all of you right can i go to the next level okay <clears throat> yeah now yes yes amit amit uh, python db is a similar to jdbc correct not only python any programming language programming language to database programming language to database so the way is always the same there is no doubt at all the communication is always same maybe terminology may be changed the people who know jdbc then nothing is there just you can able to complete within uh, what we call uh, half an hour you can able to understand nothing there sir okay that's all so these are advantages and the limitations of databases right okay now sir python database programming now we have to talk about python database connectivity okay like this right python database database connectivity so sometimes yeah the part of programming requirement we have to store our data we have to store our data from our python program we require to communicate we require to communicate with the database and we have to perform several operations in the database observe that so what what will what will happen so this is my python program assume that this is my python program and this one itself is nothing but database right okay this is my python program and itself is nothing but it is my database observe that a bit carefully sir it's a database so from the python program i require to communicate with the database i have to perform insert operation select operation update operation like uh, sir several database operations i require to perform sir remember that okay sir we can use uh, sql language to talk with the database and uh, python sir python can be used to send those sql commands to the database remember that sir okay so how you can able to communicate database can able to understand my sql are getting right python is the responsible to send that sql commands to the database from our program remember so python provides a inbuilt support python provides a inbuilt support for several databases like oracle mysql sql server next sqlite like 
multiple databases Python is going to provide inbuilt support are simple the corresponding modules are available by using those modules we can perform database programming very very easily nothing is there clear right are you able to understand sir like suppose if i want to communicate with the oracle database then which module will require to use cx underscore oracle are you getting cx underscore oracle module we require to use to communicate with the oracle database next one after that sir pi m s s q l are you getting pi m s s q l this is module can be used to communicate with microsoft sql server are you getting next pi my sql pi my sql this module can be used to communicate with the mysql database are you getting to communicate with the mysql database so this is the module microsoft sql server this is the module oracle this is the module what we have up to that clear right so just for every database corresponding module is there import that module use that functionality directly you can able to communicate with the database right so do you know in java some 20 lines of the code here 5 to 6 lines of the code by default you can able to do that that much easy remember that's sir here that's all now i will talk about sir what are various general standard steps general standard steps to communicate with the database general standard steps to communicate with the database right standard steps to communicate to communicate with the database okay very very simple sir just the only five to six steps are there just the aware that aware first one sir import that database specific module correct or not import that database specific module specific module like this one sir first one is import database specific module that is the first activity right suppose oracle if you are going to work with oracle sir import import ah, i forgot module name can you please tell anyone anyone can you please remind i forgot module name related to oracle import import c x underscore oracle okay good i forgot mysql mysql module you can see this one c small x small o capital take a bit special care c small x small o capital o capital next uh, what is the second one sir yeah what the what is the second one sir import import sir i want to communicate with mysql import pi pi mysql are you getting pi mysql like this right okay these two things you people should be aware so import database specific module first activity what you have to aware next the module is ready ready with that module establish connection with that module establish connection connection between python program and the database are you getting establish connection between python program and the database right sir how do you can okay establish establish connection between between python program uh, python program and the db are you getting so what we have to do sir very simple con is equal to con is equal to sir cx underscore oracle sorry cx underscore oracle this is the module that the connect is the method are you getting that what is the what is the method function we have connect 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 is the method sir of a database information i have to provide of database information i require to provide sir observe a bit carefully about this one sir so here just take take a bit very special care database information we have to do that uh, next sir prudvi create user in the database everything is going to take care by admin people being a programmer we are not required assume that in database table is ready or otherwise i will create the table username and password already created there okay now sir provide a uh, database information right okay now what it means if you want just observe this line sir con is equal to con is equal to cx underscore oracle dot connect cx underscore oracle dot connect connect on ah, scott scott slash tiger get the rate local host assume that get the rate local host i hope i hope 
the people who can able to understand this one suppose assume that uh, your oracle database username and password username and password is caught on tiger next to my database server is locating in the local machine database server is locating in the local machine then automatically this is the information i hope everyone can aware this type of words local host means on which mission on which mission yes database server is running on my local mission next time after that start on a tiger means username and password sir from our childhood downwards i hope this type of technology aware even at your childhood start on tiger only now also uh, start on tiger only clear yes in java amit in java we have jdbc url username and password but here direct start tiger at the rate local host if any dependency there my module by default is going to take care don't worry about that okay this is the second so connection is also ready module is there by using that module connection also i did sir what my next activity i have to do that very very simple sir sir to execute our sql query to execute our sql query to hold the results to hold the results some special object must be required some special object must be required to hold sql query to to send sql query to execute sql query and to hold the results some special object must be required that the special object is nothing but that special object is nothing but cursor object are you getting right what is that object can you please tell cursor object that special object is nothing but cursor object so sir if you want to execute your sql query cursor must be required if you want to get the results from the database cursor must be required so after creating connection object what is the next one sir cursor object we have to get sir how you can able to get sir very simple very simple cursor is equal to count dot cursor cursor is equal to count dot cursor cursor is ready ready sir legend legend a bit very carefully sir cursor is ready ready like this amit where we can provide password password is this one have you observed scott means username tiger means password tiger means password username and password and the where my oracle where where the oracle host is running is nothing but oracle database server is running local host yeah okay now sir create cursor object okay sir that's all up to this how many activities we completed can you please respond each and every person respond can you please tell three activities what the first one import database specific module import database specific module what is the second one what the what the second one create connection object okay what is the third one create connection object what is the third one spell out what is the what is the third one create cursor object once cursor object is ready once cursor object is ready then simple execute our query regarding fourth one execute our query execute our query our sql query sir how you can able to execute okay very simple cursor having multiple methods cursor having multiple methods right sir in java the people who are coming from java background execute query execute uh, uh, update and then execute like there are multiple methods are there here also there are multiple methods are there sir what is the first one execute method to execute a single query are you getting that sir sql query i want to execute to execute a single query query can you spell out what the method name please respond what the method name respond and why you are silent what the method name Uh, what is the method or name to execute our sql query what is the method i am using execute within bracket what we are going to what we are going to send sql query how many sql queries we are sending only one sql query okay that's all this is next uh, second one sir okay second one cursor dot execute script cursor dot execute script 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 means a group of sql queries okay execute execute script a group of sql queries right 
satu execute to execute a string of a string of SQL queries. Are you getting to execute a string of SQL queries separated by semicolon? Separated by semicolon. Right? Okay, to execute a string of SQL queries separated by semicolon. Okay, like this, right? What is the third one? Cursor dot execute many, many. Are you getting cursor dot execute many? to execute a parameterized query. Are you getting right? What is this one, sir? To execute a parameterized, a parameterized query. To execute a parameterized query. Remember that. Any doubt? Any doubt, sir, total? How many? Of course, how you can able to use, I will explain. Just evade the words, evade the terminologies, right? So execute our SQL query. That's all. So first, first, Import database specific module. Next, establish connection between establish connection between Python program and the database. Next, create a cursor object. Next, put one answer by using cursor execute our SQL query. That's all. Next, once you executed our SQL query, get the result. Get the result. Are you getting right? I want to fetch the results. I want to, I want to fetch it. Fetch the results. Okay, how you can able to do that? Fetch the results. How you can able to do that? Very simple, sir. Cursor dot fetch one. Are you getting cursor dot fetch fetch one? Okay, what is the meaning of fetch one? To fetch only one row. Are you getting? Can you please tell, sir? To fetch only one row, only one row. Sir, to fetch one, only one row, we are going to use fetch one. Second one. Fetch all. Are you getting? What is the second one, sir? Fetch all, all. To fetch all rows. Are you getting cursor dot? Fetch instead of one, you can ask a fetch all. To fetch all rows. To fetch all rows. Next, fetch, sir, cursor dot. Okay, cursor dot. Fetch, fetch. Uh, sir, n, fetch, fetch many. Fetch many of n. What it means here? Only n number of rows are required. Okay, to fetch n rows, to fetch n n rows. That's all. So three execute methods are there. Cursor dot execute, cursor dot execute. Okay. Now, now this one is another one. Fetch one, fetch all, fetch many. Okay. Three fetch methods are available. Remember that, sir. Clear? Are you are you in a position to understand? Yeah, Sridhar Gau, that concept is not required really at this stage. Don't worry, just continue. Up to this, not required to keep any explanation about this one. Okay, these are all these methods for any database, for all types of databases, the methods are always the same. The methods are always the same, that's all. Next, the fetch based on any condition, that condition we have to implement at the time of SQL query, not at the time of fetch Vijaya. Vijaya. Are you able to understand? In SQL query, we have to keep our conditions. I want only employees data whose marks, whose salary greater than 10,000, like in the query itself is going to implement conditions, not while fetching the data. Okay, that's all. Sir, fetch all to get all rows. Suppose 1,000 rows came, all the 1,000 rows you are going to get, sir. But, uh, but uh, my requirement is only 10 rows are enough. Even 1000 rows came, but I want only 10 rows only. Just to spell out 10. It's no. Are you able to get? Yes, ma'am. Are you able to understand? It's no. What is the difference between fetch all and fetch many? Fetch all and fetch many. Yes. Fetch all means, fetch all means all records by default you are going to get. Whatever the records you are asking, select a star from employees. Select a star from employees. 10,000 records are there. 10,000 records you are going to get if I use fetch all. No, I don't want 10,000, sir. Only three three employees. Three employees data is enough. If you want only three employees data, then automatically fetch many. Are you getting? If you want only three employees data, then happily you can call fetch many of n. n means three. n means three. That's all. Just say that once we are using the programs, you can able to understand easily. Nothing is there, sir. Okay, clear, right? 
yes fetch one means fetch one means yes it is going to fetch only first row correct nand kishor only first row by default you are going to get fetch many of three means first three rows you are going to get fetch all means all records whatever you got all total records by default you will get next and after that one more very important point is there listen a bit carefully especially the people who are coming from java background sir from from java program if you are performing any update operation insert operation okay delete operation we are not required to perform commit have you remembered we are not required to perform commit because in jdbc auto commit is always enabled enabled right but in python auto commit is not enabled okay so if you perform any operations immediately the results won't be reflected in the database i inserted one query that i inserted one record record that record immediately won't be inserted in the database you have to confirm hey okay please confirm please confirm like uh, if you are using commit are you getting if you are using commit commit method commit commit function then only yeah uh, it is going to be sir con dot commit con dot commit then only it will be committed committed means reflected in the database suppose i thought that i try to insert some data but later point of time i realized that no 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 it is not uh, required can you please ignore can you please ignore then automatically roll back roll back means send whatever modifications you did uh, sir just uh, all those modifications can you please throw into the dustbin <laughs> are you getting can you please throw into the dustbin original state as it is by default will be there that thing is nothing but roll back something like undo correct correct undo undo kind of thing itself is nothing but roll back commit means committed saved man okay saved permanently in the database once saved you can't you can't revert back take a bit very special care that's why so commit under roll back compulsory required to use okay compulsory required to take a bit special care while using sir next after completing all can you please close the resources okay because anyway if my database server is going to provide, provide support only 10 connections sir after completing my required operations can you please can you please close can you please close like this what i have to take con dot close are you getting con dot close or otherwise con the cursor dot close like this right cursor dot close so these are the only two resources we are going to open yeah the part of yeah the part of sir our pdbc programming that's why con dot close cursor dot close sir in reverse order of their opening usually usually sir reverse order first step we will close the cursor after that we will close the com okay that's how this is something like database related only right clear up to this seva session these kind of things once no no because from the python program we are going to do all these activities every operation will be treated as independent operation only okay that's it now slowly database terminology now you people are able to understand i hope just a words but anyway once we are start using in our coding then definitely you people are going to get clarity i'm sure sir okay just observe sir now up to this can you please tell what are various methods we use can you spell out sir i want to listen uh, from you people i discuss i discuss sir, several methods sir. whatever methods you remember can you please type good good all the methods whatever methods you remember can you please type methods methods nand kishor importing module we are not required to worry yeah methods which methods we use can you please spell out ones so that i'm feeling very happy whether the method names are there in your mind or not good execute connect commit roll back next in the execute three execute methods are there i don't know the names sir. i don't know the names sir in the execute three execute methods are there execute execute script execute execute many similarly fetch also three methods are there fetch one fetch all fetch all fetch fetch many are getting fetch one fetch all fetch many next commit roll back next and after that close commit roll back and then close so database related words are you are already familiar for all databases this terminology is always the same it is not going to be changed sir don't worry 
here let me repeat let me repeat sir so first to first method establish connection next time after that create cursor create cursor once cursor is ready execute yeah uh, create cursor execute queries so execute execute okay execute next time after that execute execute script execute execute script next time after that execute mini okay like this next time uh, can you please fetch the records fetch one fetch fetch one fetch mini fetch fetch mini uh, next fetch all next time after that fetch mini like we covered next time after that commit commit next up uh, roll back commit roll back okay next uh, can you please close that's all friend whether you are using oracle database whether we are using mysql database or sqlite the method names everything is always same these methods are python specific methods not the database specific methods that's why uh, we are responsible to write the python program in our python program whether you are connecting with any database these words are always the same right remember that clear right any doubt okay yes you are sir just uh, take a bit special care fetch uh, what what you are asking uh, difference between execute and execute script execute method is applicable to execute only one query only one query okay execute script method is applicable to execute a group of queries a group of sql queries okay a group of sql queries sir present inside a string with the uh, semicolon comma separator next execute many is applicable for parameterized queries in our java we have question mark symbol and so on parameterized queries like this right yes yes sima definitely there may be a chance yes there is a possibility to execute stored procedures and so on also but in python we are not required to go at this stage that level yes definitely there is a option don't worry sir that's all these are various things what you people should be aware about the terminology related to the pdbc right now i go sir terms are clear all the stars we know the remaining thing is connect to these stars then our program by default will be ready okay now what i want to do is can you please write a program of course i want to i want to sir i want to go for oracle database so if you want to work with oracle database working with oracle database okay database specific terminologies we have to talk nothing nothing don't worry about that matter of one or two modules how you can import and so on right okay from python if you want to communicate with oracle database compulsory some translator must be required to translate python calls into database specific calls and so on here just observe this is my python program sir this is the python program assume that this is my database i told already this is the database right sir now python language is the different database language is the different are you getting right something like uh, this person knows only telugu this person knows uh, only hindi okay he don't know about uh, telugu he don't know about hindi maybe a problem maybe a problem that's why in the middle compulsory some translator must be required some special software must be required okay some some special some special software must be must be required okay the job of that person is to translate python specific calls into database specific call database specific calls into python specific calls who is the responsible for that okay some special module driver must be required that the driver software for the oracle is nothing but nothing but have you remembered right cx underscore oracle are you getting cx underscore oracle remember that sir sometimes uh, in your in your java in your java programs ojdbc 6.jar ojdbc 7.jar or ojdbc 5.jar something that like you are going to keep right so that the kind of thing jar files are nothing but here libraries beyond that nothing sir so if this module is there now between python and the database if anywhere conversions if anywhere connections are required conversions are required all those things are going to be supported by this module itself so being a programmer we are not required to worry much about sir at the at very top level just aware 
from python from python program if you want to communicate with the, if you want to communicate with the server oracle database some special software module must be required that module itself is nothing but this is cx underscore oracle clear any doubt any doubt about this one okay now sir how to install this is cx underscore oracle sir install cx underscore oracle i want to install this one because by default by default cx underscore oracle is not available okay for our python program are you getting suppose if you require any module random module directly directly you are going to take uh, import random <laughs> are you getting import random like that so if i want to use import cx underscore oracle import cx underscore oracle by default is not available immediately python is going to get after that hey, you are telling cx underscore oracle where is available first we require to make it available for our python program that thing is nothing but okay install cx underscore oracle right remember sir how you can able to install how you can able to install sir have you observed right so in python installing any software Installing any software is nothing but sir, just eating 25 paisa chocolate, how much easy? Just 25 paisa chocolate, how much just you are going to, uh, easy eating 25 paisa chocolate, how much easy? More than that easy installing, installing modules in the Python. Nothing, sir. Nothing. Just uh, you require your PIP. Are you getting that? PIP. What we require to take? PIP install pip install which module you want to install cx underscore for a kill are you getting that's all first make sure sir make make sure you require to install already in your system you require to install already i mean oracle database should be there in your system make sure oracle and mysql installation part are not going to talk okay just uh, take a bit special care install oracle install mysql in database under them so if the people who don't know that open the google how to install oracle how to install uh, mysql like you can able to get several uh, guidelines right don't worry sir pip install cx underscore oracle this is do you know any module sir if you want to install this is the only command sir only this one will be changed sir i want to install selenium i want to install selenium then automatically uh, selenium that's all i want to install pytest i want to install pytest pytest like uh, sir everything is always same only module name by default will be changes sir okay now in my system i have to install i have to give this command let me go to the command prompt let me go to the command prompt yes let me go to the command prompt next and after that yes what i want to take pip what i have to take install pip install uh, what is that command sir what is the module name cx underscore or i kill like in my system this module is already there then it's going to tell was already there like that it may it may tell it may tell pip install cx underscore or i kill yes can you please cross check yes have you observed have you observed at the top what it is telling the requirement already satisfied if you are going to if you are going to execute this command in your system matter of just uh, 130 seconds or 20 seconds it's going to take and it's going to tell yes install successfully you most of the times you never going to get any error in this case okay don't worry up to this is the clear right up to this is the clear right module is ready or not yes okay now next one in my system oracle database is already there Oracle database is already there. Yes. Okay. SQL command prompt. Run SQL command prompt. Connect. Connect. Scott slash tiger. Okay. Like this. Yes. Already there, sir. Okay. Now, if you want, select a star from employees. Select a star from employees like this. So, even employees, my own table, already I created, right? Already, already I created, right? Okay, this is the, this data already there, sir. Assume this data is already there. Of course, we are going to create. Don't worry about that. Okay, next up. From where we need to do I see it, sir. Command prompt. Vishnu. Yes, Vishnu, are you getting? 
okay now we are not required to uh, is it downloading is automatically it's going to be downloaded don't worry it will be downloaded automatically okay now here just observe that what i want to do is i wrote several program i wrote i wrote uh, several uh, i mean several theory we discussed already right let me convert into a small program but before that is your cx underscore oracle is it installed successfully in your system or not i want to check sir what i will take here is observe carefully here from the command prompt better to go to python console yes i'm going to python console in the python console just the help of help of just to use modules help of modules modules like this you can use no it is not displaying last time also it's not displaying because here yeah run, ran test and so on in my system help of modules is not working <laughs> it is not working something like uh, some multi threading program is executing okay like <clears throat> don't worry sir you can able to you can able to check sir in your system definitely it's going to work don't worry about that okay there in that list cx underscore oracle by default may be available or otherwise let me check sir uh, print of help of modules print of help of modules modules like this i'm asking print of help of modules like this right so command prompt py test dot py can you please have a look once please wait moment no it is not the actually in your system definitely it is going to work don't worry about that it is in that result the result of list of modules you can able to see cx underscore where i kill don't worry about that that's all sir so now i'm ready to go for ready to go for a small yes uh yes was there in your system it shows lots of module in the can you please scratch check cx underscore oracle that module will be there okay now let me go for let me let me go for a small program my program is write a program to connect with oracle database and the print its version write a program to connect with the to connect to connect with the oracle database to connect with the oracle database oracle database and the print uh, print its version which version i'm using sir and the print its version its version like this right this is about my requirement how you can able to do that how you can you can able to do that sir a small program only nothing is there just observe carefully sir import import cx underscore oracle import cx underscore oracle next uh, here what i have to take sir connect can you please get the connection object connect is cx underscore oracle cx underscore oracle dot connect dot connect sir here you require to provide what is username start what is the password tiger next what is the where this one is available local host okay sir now if if khan if khan is not none okay if khan khan is not equal to none if khan is not equal to none print print connection connection established connection established successfully connection established established successfully okay like next print a ah, database version are you getting print a ah, sir version version is i want to print a version version is con dot version version is the variable sir variable variable like now con dot sir here that sir this is if part sir else sir it's a it's a none it's a none only you didn't get connection object then automatically connection not established connection not established so like this at last con dot close at last con dot close that's all simplest program just i'm checking 
just the I'm checking. Sir, can you please connect to the database? Under display, boss, I can able to connect like this. Simplest the program, sir. Now, let me go for, let me go for py, test.py. Sir, connection established successfully. What is the current Oracle version I'm using? 11.2.0 like this. Clear? Are you able to understand? Any doubt about this one? What there inside? Nothing. Just the I imported module, getting the connection object. If the connection is not equal to none means connection object is there, print the else of print connection not established. That's all. Now my second program, second question. What is the second one is legend, legend very, very carefully about this terminology, right? What the second, second point is write a program to create employees table in the database to create the employees table employees table in the database in the database okay can you please write a program to create employees table in the database but in the database employees table already there sir already there already there i want to drop this table first anyone can you please tell drop table what is the table name employees drop table employees drop it sir now i'm asking again select a start from employees Sorry, table or view does not exist. Does not exist. Drop it, sir. Now, can you please write the program? Can you please write the program to create employees table in the database? Now, my question is to create the table in the database. What is the SQL query? Please respond. Please respond. It is not nowhere related to the Python. Normal terminology. Create table employees. Employees. Okay, first one, enum, enum of number. Are you getting? Create table employees, enum, enum, enum is of what type, number type. Next one after that, enum, enum is worker, worker 2. Enum is worker 2 of 10. Enum is worker 2 of 10. Next, ESL, ESL is nothing but number type, number type of 10, 2, number type 10, 10, 2, something like that. Sir, uh, 10 comma 2, enum, enum, ECL. Next and after that, e address. E address is also where cat 2 of 10 I am taking, sir. That's all the simple query, sir. Sir, observe that how many columns are available in my data, in my table, employees table, sir. Can you can you spell out how many, how many uh, columns are available, sir? Four columns. Employee number, employee name, employee salary. Next and after that, employee address. Okay, like four and four. This is the query, sir. How you can able to do that? Just observe carefully, sir. Okay. Here, what I want to take here is observe only first line I'm keeping. Only first line. Import CX dot for I can. Try. Try. Okay. Sir, con is equal to CX underscore where I can. CX underscore where I can. Okay. Here, start. Tiger, okay, at the rate, local host. Scott Tiger, at the rate, local host. Connection is ready. Next, uh, cursor is equal to, if you want to execute SQL query, compulsory cursor must be required, sir. Anyone can you please tell how I can get the cursor? I forgot the method. I forgot the method name. What is the way, sir? I want to get cursor object. Can you please tell what is the way? I forgot the cursor how to create. Can you please tell the way? Con dot cursor. Cursor is ready. Cursor is ready, sir. Next up, once cursor is ready, you can send your SQL query. Now I'm taking here query. Query is equal to query is equal to just uh, you can you can take either in single quote or double quote, no problem at all. What is our SQL query, sir? This is the query. This is the query, sir. Now, query is equal to like this. I'm taking, sir. Query, query is equal to like I'm taking. Sir, now cursor dot execute. Execute of, of SQL query. Cursor dot execute of SQL query. Next, print of, print of 
stable created successfully stable created successfully like this i'm printing okay if for anywhere exception is coming except a block except a block sir cx underscore varakin cx underscore varakin dot dot database error generally this is the error by people we are going to get related to database database error yes e yes e okay sir if anywhere problem is going to come problem is going to come if a calm is not equal to none if calm means calm is not equal to none only can you please roll back can you please roll back because some problem we are facing right can you please roll back print print there is a problem there is a problem like if you want you can print that exception message also like this right that's a problem like if you want you can able to print some message sir exception ending also i'm implementing finally inside finally block highly recommended to close the resources sir which resources we require to close can you please tell which resources we require to close sir one is con second one is the cursor first cursor we require to close right if 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 con if a con ah oh, sorry if a cursor sir what is the meaning of this this is the news in the exam using sir sir if a con what it means is if a con is a not equal to none remember this one if a con is a not equal to none means uh, if a con means if it is a not none that is the meaning and the kishore getting the point right if a con is not equal to none that is the meaning if a con like here also if cursor means cursor is not equal to none then cursor dot close okay similarly if a con if con is not equal to none con dot close that's all this is the simple code what we are going to write sir if you evade this then all the remaining program just everything is the same sir i don't think uh, you are going to get some difficulty to understand this one okay make make sure sir now here observe that in my database there is no such type of table sir the esc employees oh okay, can you please describe employees like this right immediately it's telling object employees object employees does not exist sir there is no such type of thing sir there is no there is no such type of thing like this right okay remember that remember remember this one now after this is the clear can you open that local host file local host is not file hero local host is not file local host is the mission name on which mission database server is running print a table created successfully ah yes yes yeah yes <laughs> yeah okay after this is okay right here correct method must be required i'm doing small small mistakes please correct me if i'm doing any mistake here cx oracle dot connect connect method is required yes vijaya in your system oracle must be already there then only this program is going to work oracle installation is very easy don't worry much just open the google and check out to install oracle is it okay any doubt okay that's all now i'm ready to execute this program sir now already i checked in the database no such type of table okay py test dot py table created successfully table created successfully okay like where is the table now let me open sql plus command prompt here i'm trying to ask describe employees employees table is already there 
employees table is already there okay sir how many columns are available sir four columns are available enum enum e shall e address four columns by default available enum enum e shall e address like this clear right that's all next the everywhere yes yes we know here also if cursor means if cursor is not equal to none if con means con is not equal to none is yes, correct next uh, if something goes wrong then if any operation already performed can you please roll back roll back those operations of course here create in the table that's why it is it is a uh, con dot roll back if anywhere you are facing some problem so if you performed already some operations then revert the back that is the purpose of roll back operation okay generalize the statement what we use okay now can you please drop the table this is my program sir if this line fails nanda kishore if this line fails connect method is not executed properly maybe because of my username wrong password wrong or something like then what value by default we are going to get none for the con what value we are going to get none getting if this line executed properly then only connection object we will get if uh, there is a problem then con value will become none yes maybe a chance of exception yeah okay now what is the next one i'm going to take sir abjan to drop table to drop table can you please tell what is the code i have to take can you please drop the table what is the sql query i require to write please tell drop drop table employees are you getting drop table employees then automatically employees table by default will be dropped drop table employees employees like this so here instead of this sql query just only drop drop table employees drop table employees employees like this now table drop for the successfully like this really can you please scratch it is it going to drop the table or not yes table drop it successfully now i will ask database oh can you please describe employees immediately it is telling sorry there is no such type of object because table already dropped it successfully up to this is it clear up to this is it clear okay well what is the next one sir can you please insert can you please insert one row into the database insert one row into the database can you please insert one row into the database sir to insert a row into the database what is our sql query sir okay what is the sql query i require to use insert into employees insert into employees values insert into employees values 100 100 is the employee number durga is the employee name assume that durga is the employee name next and after that thousand is the employee salary and the hyderabad is the address remember that okay insert into employees values like this right okay now but before executing this one first i have to create the table right because already that table got a drop put. that's why let me change sql query execute this one table created successfully in my database is it there or not yes now i'm asking which data is there in the database employees table no data just the created right select a star from employees no records no rows selected because there is no data now what i want to take is i want to execute i want to execute my sql query what is my sql query sir insert into employees values sir 100 durga 1000 hyd like this right sir now cursor count dot execute everything is the same now record inserted successfully record inserted successfully like this right remember record inserted successfully okay like now let me crouch but one small thing you have to take care sir everyone following everyone following 
sir program nothing nothing just only queries are changing beyond that nothing sir but one small twist is there in the last two programs what operations we did create table drop table create table and the drop table are ddl commands correct right create table alter table drop table these things are by default considered as ddl ddl command side but the insert data delete data update data these queries are dml commands dml commands remember that so dml commands if you are if you are performing any dml dml operations from the python program compulsory we require compulsory we require we require to perform commit operation explicitly remember that sir compulsory we require to perform commit operation explicitly if you are not performing commit operation sir your data won't be won't be reflected in the database okay sir you executed the query you executed the query now observe i'm trying to execute the query sir have you looked once have you looked once record inserted successfully let me cross check my database let me cross check my database select a start from employees how many rows are there no rows where is your data gone because not updated not reflected in the database so after performing dml operations insert delete update operation compulsory we require to call commit commit then only the changes will be reflected in the database that is the need of commit sir okay after this query con da what is the what is the method we require to take please tell what is the method we require to take i forgot after inserting what is the what is the method we require to do con da commit are getting that con da commit commit like this right sir con da commit commit like now execute this code now you can check database execute this code now you can check database database observe the one row beautifully the data came into the database right sir who wrote this data who is sending this data don't tell durga sir <laughs> don't tell durga sir who is sending this data python program sending the data now my python program can able to communicate with the database clear right which is nothing but what python database programming now my python program can able to talk with the database okay for that just only one module and some two or three methods yes that thing is enough any doubt any doubt yes yes nand kishor flow type <laughs> in database also everything is treated as object i'm not sure finally block is to close my database connection even in the case of errors to close my database connection properly we are always going to use finally block close the resources deallocate resources properly for that purpose we are going to use suppose if i'm not handling somewhere while performing database operations third party person you are communicating if something goes wrong then someone is required someone is required to close right like release releasing the resources and so on that thing is by default considered as cam dot close cursor dot close where those activities were required to define inside finally block the biggest advantage inside finally block is the biggest advantage inside finally block is it will be executed always even exception rise sir are getting even exception got rise na finally block is always going to execute sir completed are you able to understand now you are in a position to insert the a single record into the database okay now can you please insert multiple records into the database please insert multiple multiple records multiple records into database into database by using execute many method by using execute many many execute many method is there okay by using this method can you please execute parameterizer query parameterizer query can you please execute by using execute many method yes very simple parameterizer query query is the same but values are going to be different because 10 records i want to insert query is always same but values are going to be different such type of queries are nothing but parameterized queries 
So in Python, how you can able to do parameterized query? Very, very simple, sir. Yes, yes. Very simple. How, how we can able to do parameterized queries, right? Sir, what is the code we require to write? What is the query, sir? Observe very, very carefully. Insert into employees. Insert into employees. Employees. Okay, values. I have to take. Insert into employees values. Sir, what we require to take? What we require to take, sir? Sir, first one, enum, enum, esal, ers. But I don't want to fix the values. Then very simple, colon, enum. Okay, colon, enum. Come on, colon, esal. Esal. Come on, colon, e address. What it means here? Later, you can take these values. That is the meaning, sir. Later, we can take these values. Such type of thing is nothing but parameterized query. In Java, we are going to use with the question mark symbol, but here we are going to use with the colon symbol. Remember that, a parameterized query. Of course, how you can able to do that? That part I will discuss. Okay? Now, observe. Sir, what I want to do, which values it has to take? What I am trying to take is records. Where the records I am going to take, sir? Observe. Observe. What is this one? Can you please tell what is this one? Oh, respond. What is this one? List, list. Oh, list, not here. List, no. list, list. What is this one? List. So, in this list, what is this one? Tuple. Are getting tuple? First tuple, second tuple, third tuple, fourth tuple, like. Are getting? Sir, so three tuples I'm taking. Each tuple contain, each tuple contain one record. So, employee number 200. Employee name Sunny. Employee name Sunny. Next, uh, employee salary 2000. Okay. Employee, employee, sir, location is the Mumbai. Like this, I'm taking, sir. Mumbai, like Mumbai, like, like I'm taking, sir. Okay. This is first one. Similarly, similarly, next record, sir. Yes, you can, you can take any number of records, no problem at all. Similarly, next record I want to take. Next record, sir. 300 comma sir bunny i'm taking bunny i'm taking next turn after that 3000 okay comma hyd like this i'm taking sir second record is also ready now third record like this any number of records you can take sir 400 comma 400 comma chini i'm taking 400 comma chini 4000 i'm taking comma hyd something like this i'm taking sir that's all. This is the records. So the data is available in the form of list, list of tuples. Now this is my parameterized query. Now what I want to take is observe this carefully, sir. What I want to take here is cursor dot execute. Cursor dot execute. Observe carefully, sir. Cursor dot execute. Sir, your SQL query, your ever query, sir. Whatever query you are going to take, query. Comma records you can pass. Then this query will be executed for every record in this list. This query will be executed for every record in this. But make sure, sir, your compulsory record to use execute many method. Are getting compulsory record to use which method, sir? Execute many method we require to use. So this query will be executed for every record present in this records. Clear? Are you able to understand how to use execute many method? Is also you are going to be familiar. At a time I want to insert multiple records, right? So simple, sir. Now let me take this query first. Let me take in my program this query. Same query only. Insert into employees value, sir. Observe very carefully any spelling mistakes and so on. Next, uh, next one, sir. Let me take this records also. Let me take this, this records. Okay. Conda cursor, execute cursor dot here. Just I'm taking records. Right? Just I'm taking records. Next time after that, execute many query comma records. Query comma records. Next the records inserted successfully like this. Like this. Now let me execute this code. Yes, records inserted successfully. Let me cross check in my database. Already one record is there. 
Now my Python program inserted three records. Total four records are there or not? Observe that. Total four records are there or not? Yes, four records came. So from the Python program, you can able to send any number of records. Any number of records, right? Okay, that's all. Clear, right? No, it is not going to be accepted. Was there? Yes, Amit, that may be the reason. Tupri is always immutable, no one is going to change. Safe. Vishnu, record the statements means uh, after uh, here, anywhere you can take, no problem, even at the beginning also. Anywhere you can take. Vishnu, anywhere you can take. It should be list. Amit. Okay, that's all. So this is the way how you can able to insert multiple records into the database. Execute many records. Okay, like this. Next, uh, next cinema. Uh, next, uh, next cinema. Uh, yes. Then how we can integrate Python program to take inputs from the GA? Yeah, just up to this is the clear for a lot, right? Yes. Any doubt? Okay, now what my next level requirement is? My next level, sir, almost five programs already we completed, right? Okay, now what is my next next program requirement? Is very, very simple, sir. Write a program, write a program to insert multiple rows in the table. To insert multiple rows, multiple, multiple rows in the table. Okay, multiple rows in the table, but, but. The data you have to take dynamic input with the dynamic input with the dynamic input from the keyboard. <laughs> Are you getting dynamic input from the keyboard? Okay, from the keyboard you require to take the data, sir. It, it should be dynamic input from the keyboard. How you can able to do that? Very simple code. So input function is already there for us. Input function is already there for us. We are not required to worry much about that. Sir, this part just uh, I'm removing. This part I'm just uh, removing, sir. Okay, you know already this. Sir, now what I'm taking, cursor is ready. Khan is also ready. Cursor is ready. Up to this, any doubt? Anyone can you please tell? Anyone can you please tell? Sir, here just uh, uh, if you want, you can able to do that. No problem. Okay. Here, up to this, any doubt? Yes, even query is also not required. Query is also not required because we are going to insert later point of time. That's why let me remove this with my provided data. Up to this, any doubt, please have a look once, two lines. First line, what I'm taking, creating connection object. Second one, creating cursor object. Okay, like this. Now the next one, while true, while true, oh, infinite loop I'm taking, infinite loop, I will ask, keep on, hey, and user, please enter, name, employee number, and so on. E num is equal to int of input of enter employee number. Enter employee number, number like this I'm taking, sir. Okay, now, e name, e name is equal to Sir, e name typecasting is not required. Enter employee name typecasting is not required. Next, e shall e shall okay, it is the float type. Enter employee salary. Next, e address e address. Sir, here also it is the string type. Typecasting is not required. Enter employee address. After this, any doubt? This is the while of true, sir. Enum, enum, e shall, and e address. Like this, I'm taking. Now, data by default is coming from the keyboard. Okay, four, four rows came from the, from the keyboard, sir. Now, can you please create SQL query? Can you please create SQL query? 
SQL is equal to sir maybe your query any name you can use right already our familiar name we can we can use now here more concentration must be required please observe that sir query is equal to sir what is our query insert into uh, insert into employees insert into employees values values right sir what we can able to do percentage d okay later i will replace this one percentage d next and after the percentage yes because percentage yes employee name should be within single quotes oracle database specific format next uh, percentage yes percentage f comma sir single quote percentage yes okay like uh, this is my sql query observe that a bit carefully sir sir this is the query but uh, later i have to replace these things uh, with our provided values are you getting how you can able to do that very simple cursor dot execute of your query you can pass i pass up the query sir this is the string this is the string i have are you getting this is the string i have now now each value we have to replace are you getting each value we have to replace what we have to take first the query already there this one already came here so percentage ah uh, can you please tell sir this type of with the dynamic input this type of query creation is the very common sir very very common pleasure or otherwise i will do one thing i will do one thing sir demo demo dot tv can you please have a look once can you please have a look once name durga salary thousand just a small example to understand this is percentage yes and my salary is percentage yes this is the string correct right this is the string what we have in this percentage yes is there percentage f is also there percentage of name comma salary are you getting percentage of name name comma salary i am taking sir because first percentage yes means replace with name next percentage f means replace with salary sir any doubt about this one can you please respond any doubt about this one already we discussed in the string concept this if you want let me execute demo dot py py demo dot py like this i'm taking this is durga my salary is a thousand something like right? it is going to it's going to come no problem at all any doubt any doubt are you in a position to understand right okay yes we can we can use but for database kind of things this this type of style is a more recommended for the way you can able to use format replacement operator also no problem at all okay this is also acceptable okay now now here so query query means this total thing is coming in this percentage d percentage yes like percentage first percentage d means e num next percentage yes means e name next and after that e sir next and after that e address that's all are you getting this is about the query if you can do these two lines then our life will become easy now have a look once sir sir i'm taking this is the query and then cursor dot cursor dot okay execute cursor dot execute percentage of enum e name e sir and e address that's all now the record will be inserted successfully sir record inserted successfully print of of course record inserted successfully highly recommended if you want immediate immediate you can use standard commit then only it will be reflected in the database correct or not then only it will be reflected in the database okay now what i have to take sir here uh, print print of record inserted inserted successfully record inserted successfully like this i am taking sir yes record inserted right now sir still i want to ask hey do you want to insert one more record please let me know do you want to insert one more record like input of input of do you want to 
do you want to insert one more record do you want to insert one more record one more record yes or yes or no yes or no no like this yes or no like uh, you have to specify okay do you want to insert one more record if option option is not equal to no if option is not equal to no no sir if it is a no if it is a no do you want to insert one more record yes option is equal to no assume that if option is equal to no can you please tell what i have to take if option is equal to no sir i am telling do you want to insert one more record no 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 then what i have to do please respond i am already in the while loop infinite number of times it is keep on going to execute do you want to insert one more record do you want to insert one more record no no i told if i know just you have to use what break so that you will come out of the while loop are you able to understand right you will come out of the while loop right now have you look once or sir so this is r instead of that instead of this one so this records inserted successfully at last i want to take assume that at last i want to take then automatically where we can take where we can we can able to take this one is yes, yes very simple at last also you can able to take at last only one time only one time you can able to specify records are inserted successfully like this right records inserted successfully this is one way or otherwise after every record only you can able to place no problem at all okay so just uh, let me summarize what i am doing a reading data from the keyboard with that data i created one query and executed that and then commit and then record inserted successfully do you want to insert one more record yes or no if it is a no break if it is not if it is yes if it is no break if it is yes continue again continue again again it will ask enter employee number enter employee name enter employee salary like that it's going to come sir clear right okay now have you look once py test dot py enter employee number in my database already four employees are there now 500 enter employee name enter employee name okay something like dhoni enter employee salary 5000 enter employee address okay ranchi like this i'm taking record inserted successfully do you want to insert one more record sir here yeah. in my program after execute immediately user count dot commit now i can able to check in the database is it really there or not can you please observe dhoni came or not hey dhoni came or not yes dhoni record got inserted right now do you want to insert one more record yes ma'am yes enter employee number okay can you please tell any any employee number uh, i mean enter employee number 600 next uh, enter employee name okay some kohli like this i am taking kohli enter employee salary 6000 okay enter employee address uh, delhi okay like this record inserted successfully do you want to insert one more record yes last record right yes enter employee enter employee number okay something like sehwag oh shit <laughs> in real literal have you observed right in real literal instead of employee number i provided like sehwag already retired person how you can able to insert how you can able to insert my program card <laughs> okay don't worry yes here if you observe that if you observe yes six rows by default came any doubt can i able to insert multiple records or not are that cycle by default will be repeated until entering no until entering no like this by default it's going to be inserted that's all this is the way how you can able to insert the data with the multiple records okay just uh, um, execute script method maybe here also you can able to use just within the string of format first query semicolon second query semicolon third query like that first insert semicolon second insert semicolon third insert like that 
அந்த கிஷோர் so that's all this is uh, just a uh, uh, do you want to go for any few minutes break yes up to this we covered about how to insert multiple rows into the database with the dynamic import six programs we completed right sir what is the next one what the what the next one i have to take write a program to update employee salaries regarding first we we discussed about inserting insert operation already completed sir insert insert operation already completed now i want to talk about update operation under then delete operation under then select operation we are going to do that sir now insert but before that create table create table drop table we covered almost all database operations we are performing sir we completed create table how to create how to drop how to insert single row how to insert multiple rows how to insert dynamic data dynamic data also now let me talk about update update right sir what uh, my program requirement is have you look once sir write a program to update employee salaries with the increment for certain range of people with the dynamic input are you getting so what it means is sir can you please uh, can you please increase employee salaries all employees salaries by some uh, some 144 rupees <laughs> 144 rupees okay whose salary whose salary less than uh, less than 5000 rupees this is about my requirement right why i am spe specially taking 144 year 144 years okay sir why i am taking you can able to see clearly is it incremented or not <laughs> is it incremented don't feel <laughs> uh, with the gst or without gst or <laughs> are you incremented like just uh, uh, take one small example man if you want you can have one more zero 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 no problem at all okay sir can you please increment the employee salary by 144 rupees sir whose salary less than 5000 rupees okay like that because these days software company situation is like that only man uh 2% hike 3% hike <laughs> are getting uh, 1% increment uh, like uh, the software companies also almost this type of increments only these days the people are giving no na working people are there can you please confirm <laughs> yeah same situation okay like that's why 144 rupees now <laughs> my requirement is, uh, my requirement is sir this is about my requirement right but anyway this 144 this 144 under this 5000 i don't want to hard code sir i want to read from the keyboard yeah the dynamic input are you getting from the dynamic input i want to read the yeah from the keyboard sir so that you can increment how much you want uh, sir you can decide what is the salary range also sir is it it's it's possible sir how we can we can able to define very very simple terminology sir observe that very very simple just i have to ask just i require to ask all this nonsense is not required let me remove okay first two things are very clear sir create connection object create cursor okay now i will ask how much increment hey employee how much increment you want to provide sir increment increment is equal to sir float of increment is equal to float of input of enter enter Uh, enter increment salary how much increment you want enter increment salary like this i want i want increment sir okay like this enter increment salary like this now sir for which salary range of people you want sir sal range are you getting for which salary range of people you want sal range also float of input of input of enter salary range enter salary range like this you can able to take enter salary range like this right so total increment how much increment you want how much salary range you required like this we are taking now can you please create the query first what i want to take query sir anyone can you please guide what query we have to take anyone can you please guide what is the query update update employees update employees set the esl is equal to esl plus 144 where where esl is less than 5000 and 
that our childhood, whenever we learned a database, I hope this type of queries are very common. Very common. You may ever write. Even you don't know yeah, database programming. Don't worry, sir. Just you can able to understand very easily. Update employees table. Can you please set the ESL is equal to ESL plus 144 increment by 144, where ESL is less than 5000. Like this update query. This is the simple update query, right? Now what I want to do? Update, update employees, update employees. Set the ESL is equal to ESL, ESL plus 144, ESL plus 144, where ESL is less than 5000. Like this, I am taking sir. But here the problem is I don't want this one percentage F because I I don't want to hard code. I don't want to hard code. I don't want to hard code this one also. Like this, like I don't want to hard code this one. Now sir query is ready. What I have to do? Cursor dot execute. Cursor dot execute query. Query. Have you remember percentage? First percentage F means sir uh, increment. Increment. Second percentage of means of sale range. Are you getting sale range like this? Right. So just now we use this type of style. Have you remember? Just now we use this type of style. I hope you can able to understand. Okay. Like this is cursor dot execute of query percentage increment comma percentage sale range like this. I am taking sir. Okay. Now sir very simple. Records updated successfully. Print the records updated. Records updated, updated successfully. Records updated successfully like this, right? So that I can able to check. But anyway, it is also, it is also, sir, DML operation compulsory we require to do contact commit. Are you getting contact commit compulsory we require to do that? Any doubt? Any doubt? Can you please observe? I hope it's a very easy. Any doubt about this one? Concentrate only on program. Remember that. Yes. Record center increment salary. Sir, 144 rupees increment I want. Enter employees salary range 5000. Then automatic records updated successfully in my database. How many employees are there whose salary less than less than 5000? Less than 5000. Sir, one, two, three, four. Four four employees are there. Automatically their salary by default updated by one forty four rupees. If you want, you can cross check. Yes, updated or not? If you want, you can check. Yeah, like this. But here everywhere for the past four employees, one forty four by default got incremented. Any doubt? Any doubt? Okay, that's all. This is about how you can able to perform increment right. Now, sir, update operation also we did, sir. Next operation, delete operation. Next operation, delete, delete operation, right? Okay. How you can able to delete? How you can able to delete, delete the data, sir? Sir, my company is in the loss. I want to delete all the employees who salary is greater than five thousand. I want, I have, sir, a bit loss in my company. All the employees whose salary greater than five thousand. Yes, very dangerous operation, sir. So that uh, greater than five thousand, I don't want to hard code. I want to read that five thousand value from the keyboard. Cut off salary, right? Yes. What I have to take? Delete from employees. Delete from employees. Where is your greater than five thousand? Are you getting greater than five thousand? Okay. Can you please delete from employees? Where is your greater than five thousand? This is my SQL query, right? Yes. How you can able to do that? How you can able to able to do that, sir? Very very simple, sir. What uh, I will ask is, sir, here see this one. Uh, same thing. Cut off salary. Cut off. Okay. Enter. Cut off salary. Just I'm changing my previous program. Enter. Cut off salary. Salary range is not there. Just uh, very simple, sir. Very simple. So here query. What is the what is the query, sir? Please respond. What is the query, sir? Delete from employees. Delete from employees where is your greater than five thousand. But instead of five thousand, I have to take a percentage F. Okay, this is my query. This is the query. Ah, uh, delete sir. Delete from employees. This is the query sir. Now, now percentage sir. Here, how many, how many 
formation how many things are available sir only one that's why even parenthesis also not required percentage yes where that value is available cut off are you getting where that value is available sir cut off salary records are deleted successfully records are deleted successfully like this this is the small program sir now observe carefully about this terminology right sir i'm ready to execute can you please confirm again what i'm doing sir cursor i created i'm asking any user to enter cut off salary so delete from employees where is your greater than extra cursor dot execute off like this contact comment records are deleted successfully everything is the same now let me execute oh enter cut off salary 5000 okay enter sir sir how many employees are there whose salary greater than 5000 greater than 5000 only one employee that particular employee by default will be deleted sir okay sir now here yeah, records are deleted successfully how many employees are there sir only one employee then automatically yes sir, are you seeing the difference right i hope you people can able to see the difference 600 kohli here like 600 kohli got deleted from the list clear okay how you can able to delete how you can able to delete the data based on the dynamic input okay remember that that's all sir these are the things what you people should be aware clearly right any doubt any doubt about this one okay now the next operation what i want to take sir ninth program select operation right select select operation i'm, I'm going to explain sir very very simple write a program to select all employees info by using fetch one method by using fetch fetch one fetch one method what the meaning of fetch one sir fetch record by record fetch one method can you please select all employees sir by using fetch one method like this how many fetch methods are there please can you please confirm how many how many fetch methods are available sir can you please confirm please respond i forgot how many methods are there three methods sir. what is the first one what is the first one fetch one next and after that fetch many fetch one fetch many and uh, fetch all are you getting fetch one fetch many fetch all okay like this is the fetch one method next and after that fetch fetch all next and after that fetch many is there sir fetch many is there that's all but anyway in this example i want to use fetch one method right one by one one by one i want to i want to record i want to read the data sir sir let me remove this one what is our sql query sir select a star from employees are you getting select a star from employees select a star from employees like this yes i got sir so now i require to execute sir like cursor dot cursor dot execute of query that's all here no formatters like like a simple cursor dot execute right next and after that what my requirement is sir while so you have to take a row row i want to read first row sir assume row is equal to cursor dot row is equal to cursor cursor dot just to take a bit very special care row is equal to cursor dot fetch one are you getting what is the method sir cursor dot fetch one now what i have to take while row is not none are you getting while row is not none it is not none then automatically keep on just a print that row keep on print print that row like this like while while row is not none okay you can take uh, even not equal to also no problem at all while row is not none not none print of row sir print of row row under then row is equal to cursor dot fetch one cursor dot fetch one like this right very simple have you observed i got first row i got first row if it is not none means valid data only valid data only yes if row also you can use uh, while if row like this you can able to use right sir print of row print of row next up, row is equal to next go for next up. here see this is the first record this is the first record i got it is not none print that next up, go for second record it is not none print that this cycle by default will be repeated until completing all rows how the data 
how the data by default will come sir can you please have a look once yes am i doing any mistake here commit operation these kind of things are not required because we are just selecting we are not performing any manipulation this is the dql query okay just uh, have a look once sir just uh, have a look once yes it's a tuple of records we have done first record second record third record fourth record five record so total five records by default is coming sir okay this is the way how you can able to fetch first by using fetch row okay like this right fetch row fetch one double equal to fetch one. yes because uh, number of number of fetch one in this case prudvi now how many times we are using fetch one for every record separately have you remembered for every record separately because i kept this one in the while loop but if you are going to use fetch all if you are going to use fetch all then we are not required to do this type of uh, this this many while loop all this nonsense is not required okay we will discuss don't worry about that up to this is the clear how you can able to read the data how you can able to read the data up to this is the very clear not required to keep any explanation about this one okay now what is my next requirement sir what is the next next requirement is better to use fetch all method Okay, can you please use fetch all? Fetch all method, right? This is about my requirement. How you can able to do that? Very simple. Very simple, sir. What I will do is, sir, rows is equal to rows is equal to or data is equal to cursor dot fetch all. Sir, data is equal to cursor dot. What is the method? What is the method? Fetch all. Cursor dot fetch all. I'm asking, sir. Data is equal to cursor dot fetch fetch all okay now for each row in data in data fetch fetch all method is going to return the type is sir observe that is it going to if i print the if i print the data what is the output by default we are going to get sir observe that if i print the data 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 what is the output we are going to get can you please have a look once are you seeing what is this one sir list it is a list of tuples first tuple second tuple third tuple fourth tuple fifth tuple like this it is a list of tuples then what you can able to take instead of printing like this for each row in data for each row in data in data sir just uh, i'm trying to print for each row in data print the employee number okay print the employee number employee number how i can able to get employee number right in that row for each row means it's a tuple 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 row of zero because tuple first element of you can able to access right sir zero index list and a tuple both are going to be accessed by using by using index that's why employee number what is the next one employee name employee name row of one next employee salary okay employee salary row of two sir next uh, employee address employee address like this row of three sir row of three like this i'm going to take so up to this is the very clear now safe side let me take uh, one blank line after printing every employee two blank lines i'm taking sir so that you can see first employee data second employee data third employee data very clear there right so how to use a fetch method how you can able to use fetch all method now clear are you in a position to understand yes observe that first employee data first employee data second employee data yes second employee data next third employee data fourth employee data fifth employee data yes all the employees data where you is going to come this is the way how you can able to do that sir fetch all method right any doubt clear next up sir one more example last one more method is there sir what is the next method is fetch many are you getting fetch many how you can able to get uh, by using fetch many sir sir very simple how many number of rows you require how many number of rows you, you require only two rows i want or are only three rows i want then what i will take is just i will ask and user only just i will ask i will ask and user sir query select a query and so on execute before that query is always fixed sir. i will ask n is equal to 
n is equal to int r input r number of how many how many the how many number of rows enter the number of required rows enter the number r required rows enter the number of required rows rows like this i can ask okay now sir that's our enter number of required rows okay now what i want to take here is this is the cursor here here the problem is going to come here n is required fetch many fetch many of n are you getting fetch many of n like this i'm going to take sir fetch many of n the remaining story is the same the remaining story is the same okay no problem at all so how many employees data you want now observe best example how many number of only one employee's data is enough can you please observe that only one employee data by default we are going to get sir sir i don't want one employee data two employees data i want two employees data i want sir enter number of employees two then automatically two employees data by default is going to come then i want uh, three sir three employees data then automatically three employees data by default is going to come that is the purpose of fetch many clear right yes that's all so this is about what is the how you can able to read the data by using fetch method fetch all method and fetch many methods right yes there are some small small doubts are there let me talk about that before going to the next level sir difference between fetch one and fetch all methods here fetch one will return only one object fetch all method return a list of tuples correct correct Fetch method is going to return one tuple. I mean, the fetch all method is going to return list of tuples. Next up, will count of fetch all gives or length of fetch all gives total number of rows. Length of fetch all gives total number of rows. Now, make sure length length is the function which is applicable for any sequence. That's why length of fetch all you can use. Now, make sure length of fetch all. Okay, like this. Yes, can you please show the program once? Yes, ma'am. Let me know. Okay. Are you able to understand, right? any doubt fetch many uh, what we have to do is yes vishnu we can able to do that no problem but it is not going to it is just in the database in which order it there it is going to return so that not a top 3 if you want to if you want to fetch a top 3 high salaried employees no problem then you have to customize that get this query level only once a query level you customize it now you result your result you are going to get all employees sir by highest salary first next to yes like this you can able to get the rows from that you can select the three so if you want the top three highest paid salary employees information you want the then you have to decide yet the query level only that's all are you able to understand not required nanda kishore yes nanda kishore is telling sir in that case in that case ha huh, sir we should be expert in sql sir no 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 open the google open, open the google ha huh? uh, search for sql query sql query ha huh, for top 3 employees then automatically sir you can able to get the query yes you can able to use yes getting right yes in my database programs also i did such a type of query sir rank these kind of things sir we'll try to write this data to the i will write to write uh, i want to, i want to write this data to the file what i will take here is just the
very simple open a file open open a file f is equal to open open db results dot txt db results dot txt db results dot txt and then sir in write mode i'm taking that's all f is ready f is ready sir for each row can you please write this data can you please write this data to the file this is about my requirement right okay like what we have to do that just uh, let me let me cross check am i able to write the directly list of lines or not just a simple sir simple for each row sir i got already data right i got already data but here it is always going to write some text data list of lines list of lines like this right it's always going to write some text data list list of lines like this let me cross check let me let me cross check here what i'm trying to take is print of f for dot write of f dot write of data what will happen is there any syntactical mistake or not let me cross check a center number of rows three then here right argument must be str not list this is the this is the bigger problem what we have then what we have to do is sir with the data whatever there in the tuple with the data whatever there you require to convert into the str form and then you have to you have to write that one minute let me cross check <laughs> is the str function is going to work or not is going to work or not for this one minute we can able to do that don't worry yes something happened okay let me open that let me let me open that let me open the file what is the file name db results dot txt okay are you able to see right yes are you able to see the data arpita yes once you can able to do that once you can able to do that the total list i can able to write the file then once you can able to do that use some regular expressions split method join method these kind of things split method join method these kind of things yes you can you can able to convert into uh, you uh, we can we can able to convert convert into so the required format just uh, use uh, some join method next time after that split methods based on our delimiter you can able to write arpita so exact requirement we will discuss if you want i can i can write the code don't worry okay that's all friends this is about how you can perform various database operations with respect to the python now everyone in the session by default i hope you people are getting now what is database what the advantage of database now uh, when compared with the file system next uh, if you want to work with the oracle database sir what module is required what are various programs uh, what are various programs like that we we covered already right okay that's all this is about with respect to the oracle okay like uh,